Oh, six feet, sir. Six feet, please. Six feet. What am I doing? Oh, I'm out here recording. I'm out here recording. What's that? Oh, I have a I have a business. I put on seminars where I teach people how they can become multimillionaires by recycling aluminum. Do you want to join my seminar? It's only $29 a month. But I got a two-for-one special this month, sir. Everybody should, wants to become a millionaire recycling. You don't? Can I pay you a little uh, more and you could steal some for me? And then I could resell it and you could be my co-partner. You and me could be vice president. You vice president, I president. And we split everything 50-50. We go to Albania, sir. We go to Albania. We'll start our company and we'll do an offshore account. Are you in or out? Are you in or out? Are, if you're in, we're in. Give me a fist bump. Are we in or out? You in or out? I, Albania, vice president. A lot of money, become a millionaire from aluminum. A lot of money, sir. A lot of money, I'm telling you. Even even, even scrap metal, steel, you can become a millionaire from all of this, sir. This is why I put on the seminars. Are you in? Okay, forget it. Forget the $29.95. $19.95 and you can bring your wife and kids. That's the best deal I can offer. Plus, we get some chocolate chip cookies, okay? And some water. Do you, are you high glycemic? Because I won't put any nuts in it. Okay, think about the offer. I'll be here, sir. But I'm telling you, you can make a lot of money, sir. Plastic paper. Join my seminar. Okay, forget it, sir. I'll give you the seminar for free. I'll give it to you for free. No cost. No cost. Come to the Anaheim Hilton Hotel next month, November 17th. And tell him that I sent you. Dad? I told him. But what? Well, listen, I appreciate your youthfulness and your cordialness coming up to me in a respectful way. But in all respects, if he wants to tell you what's going on, then he should tell you. And then not have to have to come me. Because I don't want to reiterate. You see, but I will because you gave me respect, so I will, okay? So, he came out to tell me that I can't record here. Is that true or not? Yeah, we, we don't know recording, so other Okay. You, 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 uh, you're a young guy, what are you, like 21, 22? Yeah. Right around there. So you went to, you went to high school and you got a good job now. Did you ever go to college at all, maybe two years or nothing? You did. So, for you saying that, it's shocking because I just want you to be aware that what you said, and I get it, because you're their employee, they don't want it, it's their policy, but in school you learn the, free, the First Amendment. The First Amendment is, I can stand here, right up to here, all day long and film whatever I can see. It's perfectly legal. So I do this, you know. Now you're going to get this woman coming out who's going to be angry and call the cops. Watch. But that's okay, call the cops. I'm perfectly legal being here. But, but the reason I'm here, the main reason I'm here, because I know what I'm doing. I have workshops. I put on seminars on teaching people exactly what I'm teaching you. Free seminar, well I charge them. I offered him a deal of $29.95 to come. He, he said it was too much. I dropped it to $19.95, he didn't want it. I, and I invited his family to come. And finally I told him he can come for free for my seminar to go to the Anaheim Hilton uh, November 17th at 2 p.m. and look for me. Because I teach people this in my seminars. Don't you think it's a good idea I'm out here teaching people about their right to record here, which is perfectly legal? Don't you think it's a good thing? Okay, that see, son, uh, and I address you as son because now I have to say what I've explained to you is so logical and you're looking down at the ground and saying, um, it means you don't understand. So at this point, I've tried to do the best I can with you, sir, but I don't think any more talking to you will do any good because you're not taking it in. Now you're going to have this supervisor come and he's going to want to know the same thing. Watch, watch what happens. How you doing, sir? I was doing good until the the elderly man got all upset with me. 
Well, I guess I proved my point. Did I prove my point? I proved my point. So you're the third individual now disengaging me that I've told this story. So before I continue, may I, and you're very cordial, so am I. Before I continue to engage you, are you the head guy and not a fourth person's gonna come up and ask me to repeat it the fourth day? Because I don't mind telling you, but it's becoming redundant. And you put yourself in my position. You wouldn't want to keep repeating it. He's the, but I will tell you. I'm happy to ask the other guys that you told already, or you could call me first. Sure, I'm out here recording. The elderly man came out and uh, he told me that uh, I'm not allowed to film this building here. And I explained that I'm on a public sidewalk here. I'm not impeding any traffic. I wasn't standing here doing anything bad. Just recording. It's our First Amendment right to record in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but he, he, he kept arguing. And then I told him the main reason is I do this is because I have a business. I offer, I, I, I have business opportunities where I put on seminars. I put on, I put on seminars so people can learn about the First Amendment to record. So I, when the man was getting angry at me, I told him exactly what I'm telling you, that I have these seminars and they're $29.95. Stuck in this, on this side of the curb. Good luck. Now what we're doing is we're actually impeding traffic. Uh, he's going to drive right here? He's going to drive very close to the curb. Right, right. Well, that's on him. If he hits me, that's on him. Do you want to hear the rest of the story or not? Yeah, just okay. keep safe. Yeah, that's okay. I'll worry about my own safety, but thank you. So he said that, and I told him I have these seminars, and they're at the Anaheim Hilton, November 17th, to teach people their rights to record in public, they're $29.95. He got so upset with me, I said, I'll give it to you for $19.95 and you can bring your family. And he didn't even like that. So then he got more upset, and I told him, they could come for free for the seminar. And then he just got very upset and walked away. So that's where we're at. I'm just out here recording in public, educating. I'll tell you what, I got four of you. I got four of you. Instead of instead of $29.95, I'll give you I'll give you guys to come to the seminar. $15 each and I'll give you a subway sandwich. It's okay. I'm not interested in the seminar. All I'm interested in is that we have a bunch of our employees worrying about your safety in your recording. It's not, you can record whatever you want. No, I can't. He told me I can't. He didn't come out for my safety. That's not true. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use a bad word. Bull two words. That's bullshit. Because when he came out, and I'm not saying you're, you know, you're a bullshit. I'm just saying it is bullshit. You know what I'm saying. Somebody says I'm, it's bullshit what you're saying to me. That's all. It's a bunch of bullshit you're saying. Because he came out, not for my safety. He came out and reiterated at least a half a dozen times, I can't film here. That, that's all this was about, my filming here. So now you can educate him. That's the best thing. Educate your workers. Edu edu educate your workers. And leave me alone. And we're good. Yeah, right? And, and when they come out, if the guy wants to come out, come out in a respectful manner, sir. Don't be such a bully. That's why I said you were respectful. You have to understand, he's looking out for the good of the company. No, 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 no. He can. You, he might, have, you might have mistaken him. I didn't mistake him. You can send me this video and I'll look at it. No, 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 no. He didn't mistake anything. He came out and told me I can't record. He said it four or five times. That's the bottom line. I didn't mistake anything. Go educate him. Educate everybody else. If somebody's out here recording, don't come out and engage him. Let him be alone. As long as they're not on your property. But I wasn't. I wasn't. I was right over there. Right here, over there. And he came out. I wasn't at the curb, like you say. Come on in. You know, he should have just... I wasn't inside. Okay, so the fact is, right I, can't, I, I keep telling you, he came out here to get in my business. He should have kept his mouth shut and left me alone. It's none of his business what I'm doing. Bottom line, I'm not on your property. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm in public. I will. I'm going to... Well, I don't trust the water in a cup. You got one in a bottle? You guys might poison me. Do you have one in the water? And then we're good. A fist bump. No? He said nobody would try to poison me. We'll see. 
bunch of idiots here, everybody. You guys clean up today? You get some good money? Good. Go have a cerveza. How many people came out to the front? You're not bringing any water. No water? No bottled water? Okay. That's what I figured. You put some roofie in that water and then you probably look at me and say, maybe you want to sodomize me or something. I'm getting out of here. You guys are weird. Hi everybody, hope everybody's doing well. This is my friend Alcina. She ended up coming to my house by mistake because she likes to drink and didn't know how to get home to her family. I don't know, don't come too close. I don't buy What are you doing? What's that, Is he nosy? What's that? I'm nosy? Nosy? Am I nosy? Yes, sir. I know. I, well, I'm. I, some of the people can call me nosy posy. Nosy posy? Yeah. I guess I'm nosy. I, I like men that are. Big brutes in in orange. Be careful, that's all. I like big men in orange, sir. Be careful. That's why I'm nosy. I just like men in orange shirts. That's kind of weird. Well, holding Gatorade in the sun is weird too, sir. But this is weird, okay? That's you're fl weird. you're flipping me off now. That's weird. Well, that's not very nice. Did your mother teach you to put your finger I up your ass, did. sir? I guess she did. Well, sir. I just lost a nephew today, so fuck you, okay? How do you like that? Oh, well, How do you like that? they better restrain you, sir. You better be restrained. Take that finger and put it up your poop chute. People like you scare me. Put, put that finger. You gave me the finger, sir. I told you why I'm here. You flip me off. Put your finger up your poop chute. They're protecting you, sir. Put your finger up your poop chute. You gave me the finger. So you can go fuck yourself too, sir. Fuck you, you little bitch. Come on out, you big pussy fucker. Come out, you fool. You don't know my street creds. I'll kick your ass, fool. I know how to roll in this part of the hood, fool. You better watch how you crank it, fool. You better go back. They better protect you, fool. That's right. You take that old fool back home. That's right, fool. You don't rest with me, fool. You take that finger and put it up your poop chute, asshole. That's right, everybody. He's an asshole. He just didn't understand when I explained I like men that are brutish looking and they're in orange vests and jackets. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cathedral City. I am at Cat City Auto Collision Repair, and the reason that I am here is because I love kitty cats. And whenever I see something that says cat, I'm going to go out and record it. That's just the way I am. Although I love cats, my parents don't allow me to have any more because I used to swing them around by their tails and then they get dizzy and then I would throw up watching them because I spin too fast. But the cats all survive because I'm a kitty lover. I would never abuse an animal. 
As a matter of fact, all the cats that I swung around by their tails thank me because they said they're not allowed to go into Knott's Berry Farm and ride the log train. So, I personally feel that's discrimination against kitty cats, but hey, if I can swing them around my head, then they're happy. Oh, they got a shine there too. They got a shine that says, beware a dog. So now, we got, we got the kitty cat city auto collision, but they got a, a, a dog there that says, beware of it. This is confusing. They suck you in with a cute name and then they tell you that they got a dog. Hmm, that's kind of like a bait and switch, but I could be wrong. Oh, they're looking for somebody too, help wanted. Yep, that's my slogan. That is my slogan, help wanted. I need help, but in a good way. So they got the paint and body building over here. Then they got the bays back there. And then obviously th this is the administrative building. Breast, breast price in town. Let me see, insurance welcome. Let me zoom in, I can't really read the sign. Insurance welcome, breast price in town, match your beef with quality body work and hand job. Oh wait, paint job, I'm sorry. My mind kind of drifted for a second. I'm sorry. Well, if you need, uh, need a job, you go in there. I'm not gonna go in there because uh, I don't think they're gonna hire me. Just, that's my gut feeling. Is that President Trump's plane? He's down here. Nope, that wasn't his plane. So, I don't know if you followed the news, but President Trump was down here in, uh, uh, I think it was Rancho Mirage or Palm Springs. He flew into Palm Springs. Anyway, for $250,000, you could have a game of golf with him and a round table discussion. So I sent in a check and unfortunately the check bounced and now I'm dealing with the Secret Service. I didn't know that you could do that. What are we doing, sir? What's that? What are we doing? What are you doing, sir? You're taking a... You're making a video of my shop. Yeah, is that, is that bad? Well, I want to understand why you're taking a video I just go, of my I, shop. Ju I just go out. I was explaining. You mm -hmm. have a nice name, cat. Anything to do with cats, I'm in. Okay. I like kitty cats, but it threw me because you got to beware of dogs. So it's like, wow, he's got a nice sign that says kitty cat. But it's very odd. You walk up to me, you see I'm filming, and now you do, you're putting your hand right, up. Right, because you okay. don't have my consent to, to film me. That well, doesn't make any sense, sir. I'm going to go back and film your building. Okay, but what is this uh, filming all about? I need to understand, sir. You don't have consent to film my building. Shh. I, I'm videotaping. Don't interrupt anymore, please. Thank you. Can you call the police, please? Huh? Call the police. Yeah. He doesn't have consent to film my building, and he's not giving me an explanation. So this is America. This is America. It's my right to film here. I told you I like kitty cats. It says cat city. Everything says about a cat. What's wrong with you? Uh-oh. Police are coming. Unfortunately, I, I explained what I'm doing and then he wanted me to explain it again. So if he's that ignorant, I ain't doing it. Plus, he walks all the way over here and gets in my camera. I told him, anything to do with cats, I like. And then he got angry. Oh well, that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna just sit here for a bit, wait for the police to come, and then they'll educate him, 
and say, hey, there's nothing wrong with filming something that says cat. Boy, this guy's a real big snowflake. What the heck just happened, everybody? Unbelievable. at me and the cops have not showed up. They got some big issues. They're upset. Poor babies. All right, everybody. I have given it a probably a good, I don't know. It's hard for me to even tell time, but I would guess I've given it at least a minute. Oh, no, 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 not a minute. Maybe add another zero to that and put a two in front of that. That would be 200 minutes. No, no, no. I've waited probably 20. 20 minutes. Oh, there they are. Anyways, the fuzz have not showed up, so I guess I'm going to hightail it out of here. Oh, there's that guy. He was wearing that goofy hat. Here's another guy at the door. They're, they're all trying to figure out where the police, where the police. That would have been a perfect collision. Then they're close by to get to business. This guy's a crybaby. He's calling the police. What the heck? Oh well. I'm gonna tell the cops the same thing. Anything to do with cats, I like filming. So we're gonna hang out here a little bit longer. He don't like it. Huh? He don't like it. Why? He calling the police on me. Oh. <laughs> Stick around, get a get a chair, some popcorn, and watch what happens. If I had popcorn, I'd be okay, but no popcorn. It. You, you seem like a smart guy. I'm on a public s sidewalk. Well, I seen you up the street earlier recording. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. I like to go out and record. But I especially like to record anything to do with kitty cats. And he has a name that says Cat City. I told him. I told him. You got a good name. It draws you in. But then it says beware a dog. So it's confusing. And then he walks all the way across the street to me and puts his hand in front of my camera. It's, it's, it's crazy. There he is. There he is. See him there? He's waiting for the police. He's waiting for the... I just like to go out and record so everybody knows I can record. Nothing wrong with that. It's your white too, sir. You can do it. You got better things? You know, most people say I can't work, but I'm pretty good with tools like a shovel, you know, something like that. I couldn't even get into your truck. I'd need, I'd need like a step ladder, it's so big. Yeah, they're 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 mean. They're mean people there. But you have a good you have a good day, sir. So they're all inside. They're all inside filming there. There he is. See him? 
There he is. He's right below the kitty cat sign. There it is. Cat City. Look at this guy here. Here he is. Look at this guy. He's funny. As I said, this guy walks all across the street and then puts his hand up in front of himself. I didn't get his permission to record him and I wasn't even recording him until he walks up to me. This is the mentality, and that's a big word for me, of people. People just don't like to be recorded. I hope the, I hope the police come pretty quick because I'm getting hungry. Oh, the door moved. Yeah, he went in there. They're having a round table discussion. Or, as I will put it, a circle jerk. That's what they're doing. They're having a circle jerk. There, he's in that window now, right there. See him there? Now he hid from that window. I'm making him go to every window. That's what I'm doing. There they are. Boy, to think of it, he would have got such a good promotion had he left me alone. And when I did explain how he's got the Cat City sign and then he's got the Beware of Dog, it's confusing. He actually had a little giggle, but that wasn't good enough. No siree. No siree. He didn't understand nothing I said. So, that's the way it goes, everybody. Gonna wait for the, I guess, Cathedral City Police Department, who probably are gonna take their time. Because they're probably saying, oh my God, it's a, uh, it's a constitutional rain, man on a sidewalk filming again, we gotta deal with him. No, 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 let's just, hopefully he'll just leave before we come. But I don't think so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, but I may if they don't show up. I'm gonna give them enough time. In the meantime, all these guys got their panties in a curve or a 90 degree angle, I don't know, but their panties are all convoluted, another big word. Here come the police. Okay, there's a fuzz right now. They're watching me. Here they come. They're the police. He thinks he's sneaky. He's only going two miles an hour. Here come the police. Here come the police. Why am I, what is it with the cops in? Here they come, everybody. Let's see how this goes down. How you doing? I was doing good earlier. 
What happened? I'm out here recording and he the guy come across the street uh -huh. telling me getting my camera getting all mean at me. Why am I recording? I said, sir, it's perfectly legal. Yeah, that's true, it is. So I told him I like to sign anything to do with kitty cat. Cat. Uh-huh. And then he got a dog sign there that said beware a dog. So it's kind of confusing to me. Yeah. So they called the police for you. You you come out. I appreciate what's your name? My name is Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. You as well. Thank you. So, you know, listen, I'm not here for any bad intention. Yeah. I'm out of public area, but he was true. rude. He was very rude to me. Which which one was it? The the one that had the, the cat sign? Yeah, he, okay. he's the one that made the call to you. Okay. And uh, he, he demands that I tell him what I'm doing. And I told him what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I told him exactly what I'm doing out here. And that wasn't good enough. Yeah. So, uh, you're... you. You're not a sergeant? No, sir, I'm not. Okay, but you're still a smart guy, I bet. And you know that what I'm doing is perfectly okay. Absolutely. So, yeah. the only thing I can... I, add, I've, got, I've got no issues with it, but, of course, when they call us, we got to come. Uh, I understand. Yeah. It's called a service. It's yeah. your policy. Yeah. This isn't my first buckaroo. Yeah, for sure. So, the best... I, I guess you're going to be professional enough and go in and say, Hey, he's got a perfectly legal right to do it. Absolutely. Leave him alone. And what's so crazy... Jeff is he walked all the way across the street yeah. and then says hey I don't give you permission to film me yeah. I said this guy's dumber than me yeah you don't need permission thank you yeah. let me yeah. let me give you a fist bump sure absolutely thank you yeah listen uh, I'll, I'll let him know um, you're not you're not doing anything wrong I got I got no issues with it I, I appreciate it I think he's from another country yeah and maybe, maybe uh, that's okay. I, I, I'm all for people to come here, but they yeah. should know the First Amendment. Yeah, one hundred percent. Maybe you could even tell him that. Yeah, absolutely. So, with that being said, is your camera on? Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. So I'm going to let you go. Okay. And listen, I'm going to be around recording. So if you get any more calls, you're going to go. Hey, I see this guy, the short guy out there. He's okay. Yeah, I got no issues with my man. Hey, nice talking to you. You as well. Let me give you another fist bump yeah, at this hand because okay. your ring hooked my hand. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. All right. Hey, Have a nice day. Thank you. You All too, right. Jeff. I appreciate your courtesy, your courtesy and professionalism. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to record while you go in there. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, so now Jeff, Jeff is good. He didn't say officer or nothing. Thank you, Jeff. There goes Jeff. He's going to tell them now. He's going to educate them. They need to be educated. Actually, Jeff, you know it's a waste of taxpayers' resources, but I know you got to come out. Yes, sir, I do. Stay safe. Oh, I Jeff's going to go in and educate these guys, and uh, hopefully they'll learn. That's what I'm saying. You know, you come to this country, know, know, know the Constitution, know your rights. That's it. You just come to this country, know your rights. You're all welcome here. Most of you, anyway. Just if you don't have that corn, cornuba rivus or whatever the heck that is, you know, don't don't come because that's dangerous. But otherwise, I welcome all, everybody. Just earn your rights when you come here. That's it. The first fist bump he gave me his uh, left hand, and he had a, a ring on it, and it. It hurt my hand tremendously, so now I'm going to probably go get checked out and see uh, what they can do for me. I might have to have a cast put on. I'm not sure. Hopefully, they're not going to put a cast on my little finger. Now that, they, now that I think of it, I can't go to a doctor. I don't even have health insurance. Thank you, Jeff. They didn't inquire or anything, did they? No, we're good. Good, thank you. Because I was going to say I give them some tissue. Bunch of quiet babies in there. Okay, well, 
With that being said, everybody, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.